friends, I was asked to make a video on pregnant women, how they can take care of their kids. First of all, there are three stages of pregnancy. First is before pregnancy, the conception part. Second is during pregnancy and third is after pregnancy. First of all, because this question is urgent, that's why we will talk about during pregnancy, what can be done. I recommend you to read this book, which is written by um, uh, these doctors. So this, this book is very helpful. So health of the body. A pregnant woman should, uh, should take care of her health, desire to do nature skull and other, some urge of the body that like yawning and uh, passing something, passing gas or passing other things. So uh, these 14 urges of the body should not be disturbed, like shouldn't be forbidden. Pregnant woman uh, should take care of that uh, she allows these things happen as usually. Second thing is that basic hygiene. It is allowed for pregnant women to take bath even two times a day if it is hot weather, but she has to be clean. She has her body should be clean. Third thing is physical activities. She shouldn't get tired. If a pregnant woman is a working woman, then at least six weeks before giving birth, she has to take rest. She, I mean, she shouldn't work. She has to take leave. And if she gets so much tired in her work or in her uh, workout, then uh, she has to immediately lie down, put uh, two pillows under her legs and lie down and take rest. So the uh, fourth thing is that sleep and rest. Mostly it is not allowed to sleep daytime, but uh, if she gets so much tired, uh, she can sleep just resting her back and legs uh, for uh, like half an hour. But uh, her last three months, because fetus is uh, disturbing a lot, so she won't be able to take sound sleep at night. That's why she can uh, sleep for one to two hours at daytime also. And other days, she has to sleep at least eight hours at night. Fifth is travel. It is, uh, it is not recommended to travel long distance the first three months of pregnancy and the last three months of pregnancy. During those periods, uh, one can travel, but she has to talk with her doctor and get her permission. Sixth thing is her clothes. It is better that she uses breathable clothes, like cotton or linen or silk. And she used to avoid the clothes, which is very tight, like trousers and jeans. She, she has to use white colors, white and light colors which will pacify the mind, whereas she should avoid the darker colors and too much bright colors because they will disturb mind. Seventh is physical relations. It is recommended for three months, it, is, it should be avoided to have any relations. Last three months also it should be avoided. First three months it should be avoided because of a fear of miscarriage. But ideally, it should be avoided for whole nine months. Eight, what to listen? It is recommended that uh, pregnant women listen to music which is uh, which glorifies God and uh, mostly where there is used uh, sitar, vina, or flute. And this musical instrument pacifies the mind and it gives it elevates the consciousness. Also, during nine months, uh, the pregnant woman should. Uh, listen about the stories about God and uh, Sanskrit verses. When you pronounce Sanskrit words, your tongue should act in such a way that it, it reflects in your brain and your brain starts working nicely. So uh, Sanskrit is a very special language, so she should listen to those verses and the life stories of great personalities. Ninth, what not to listen, what to avoid to listen. Songs like rock, pop, uh, rock star, or this kind of songs which induce passion and ignorance, it, they should be avoided. And also the gossip, gossiping with people and discussing the lives of other people and uh, trying to talk bad about them, those things should be avoided. Tenth, what should be uh, read? The Vedas which are full of stories about great personalities should be read and uh, for the benefit of a child 
it enlivens the consciousness. The Vedas, like Srimad Bhagavatam or Bhagavad Gita, even if woman doesn't understand those books, still she can read what not to be read. The imaginary stories like fantasy and all these things should not be read. And newspapers should not be read where uh, they're telling about robbery, theft, killing or some violence. It should be avoided. And people like to read whatever book they find, uh, but uh, preferably they should avoid those things because their minds, especially women, get affected by bad things. They're very compassionate, so they feel compassion and they fell in bad mood. The mood will change, that's why it should be avoided, those kind of things. And what to see? Nature. Nature, very beautiful nature. It makes person very peaceful and it helps person to become very happy. So flowing rivers, uh, beautiful mountains, sunrise or sunset, uh, some nice animals and smiling kids, all these things should be watched and seen by a woman who is pregnant. And some nice artworks, uh, nice flowers, sea, ocean, or some kind of comedy, dramas or movies which are having good comedies, those can be watched. What things should be avoided to watch? Earthquakes, bad news, hunchback people, ugly people, and uh, who are disabled, and accidents, floods, all those kind of natural disasters should be avoided by a pregnant woman. And because television is full of uh, those kind of news and all these things, so it is uh, preferred that uh, pregnant women avoid watching TV. Number 14. What to think about? Pregnant woman, she should know that uh, whatever she is thinking, it will reflect to her child. And she should always think about her child. And she should also understand that whatever she knows, whatever she understands in arts and all other knowledge fields uh, of knowledge, child also will observe those qualities. So that's why she can try to see this world with philosophical eyes like she can see a tree how the tree is so tolerant quality good quality in a tree and she can see grass and observe its uh, humble nature and she can see and 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 how he works so hard she can see the sun and see how sun is so much generous so much giving always giving never taking back even if he takes back, sun again gives all the water back as a rain and snow. So this kind of qualities in the nature, the philosophy, when mother sees with philosophical eyes, then that knowledge will be also learned by a child in the womb. Number 15. What not to think about? Mother should understand that if she thinks about Oh my god, oh, the, my, I am having nice career, now this child will take birth when I'm when my career is in higher stage, what will happen? Or she thinks, oh my god, it is my education going on and in, my, in the middle of my education this child will take birth. Or, oh my god, we didn't plan for this child and this child will take birth, we don't have money or something like that. So she shouldn't give those thoughts to come to her mind because a child uh, will feel those things, she should have tried to avoid the, the feeling of anger, envy, negative emotions, negative thoughts toward others. She should avoid because if mother is like that, then child will take birth as a weak person or lazy person or lethargic, so he won't be a proper person in, in life. Also, mother should avoid the thought of how delivery will be so much hard or so much painful. She should avoid all those thoughts but uh, focus her mind on good sides of this world. Number 16. What to speak of? What to speak about? Mother always has to speak to the child in the womb. She has to tell him or her that everyone in the family is waiting for you and you are coming on time. We are so much happy that you will come. Because child is hearing and she has to speak lovingly with others, uh, she has to speak with sweet voice, uh, she has to speak the truth and she has to be very loving, she has to speak the glories of God and she can explain to the child uh, about the glories of their family like 
what kind of business or work they are doing, who they are, the parents and lineage, what is the good side of their family. So she can talk with the kid, all these things. Number 17, what not to speak. Try to avoid speaking loudly and shouting. Try to avoid uh, speaking angrily and hating with hatred towards someone. Do not criticize others. Do not use harsh words, bad words, because bad words will reduce the consciousness. So better to try all those things. And if child hears and she, in the womb she always hears those things, then he will start also having that habit of speaking loudly and with anger, all those qualities. So the last one is uh, the 18th one, with whom to associate with. And it all, of course it says, uh, with whom you associate, you also will become like that. So it is better that the pregnant woman associates with devotees of God. And if uh, she doesn't have such an opportunity, these days she can use online conversation like talking the phone and online social media with those devotees for example uh, here in US we don't have everybody is so much busy and all of my friends stay in different different parts of this place that's why every day morning we come online 5 o'clock in the morning so we start reading books and we chant the holy names of God together so, if you don't have proper association with devotees of God, you can create that association with using uh, technology. And uh, if you don't have even that chance, then try to find the good qualities in those people whom with you are talking, whom, with whom you are talking, like your neighbors, your colleagues, or whoever you talk with. You try to avoid their bad sides. Uh, don't criticize their bad sides, but Give attention to their good sides and try to cultivate those association like uh, relations. I hope these things were very helpful. And again, I recommend you find this book and read because uh, I'm taking all the things from this book. So credit goes to this book. Thank you so much. If you have some questions, please uh, share in comments. Uh, we will try to help you. Thank you.